Hello and welcome to your weekend Bible inspiration. The Lord has been so good unto us throughout the whole of the week. He has protected us. He is our guide. He always sends his angels to protect us. We say, Papa, we thank you so much. May your name alone be exalted. You rule and you reign majestic. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Today, too, Spirit of God, we pray that you inspire us through the Psalms so that at the end of it all, we'll experience you in a special way. Thank you so much. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. This is a Psalm of David. And it reads, Psalm 36, Send whispers to the wicked deep within their hearts. They have no fear of God at all. In their blind concerts, they cannot see how wicked they really are. And you know, as the Bible is saying, the wicked thinks they are cunning. They think um, they, they, no one can even see what they are doing. It's like when you are evil, even the worst things you do not see. Even things that little children see that it's bad, you cannot see because you are evil. This is how evil people are. And in their blind concerts, as the Bible says, they cannot see how wicked they really are. Everything they say is crooked and deceitful. They refuse to act wisely or do good. And they, 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 they think it is normal, but it is not normal. It is Christ who makes a difference. Hallelujah. They lie awake at night, hatching sinful plots. Their actions are never good. They make no attempt to turn from evil. Your unfailing love, O oh Lord, is as vast as the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches beyond the clouds. Your righteousness is like the mighty mountains. Your justice like the ocean depths. You, you care for people and animals alike, O oh Lord. Brethren in the Lord, this is the God we serve. So anyone who does not rely on him, anyone who does not want God in his or her life, that person, that person really is really in need because that person does not know what he or she is missing. Without God, we can do nothing. Look at this whole universe, the mountains. Yes, yesterday I was so close to some mountains. And when I look at the way the Lord has arranged, has arranged the mountains, it is so marvelous. It is so marvelous. It was such a sight. When you look at the waters with gravels and them, oh, just look at human beings. Just look at us, how we were created, how we were formed in our parents' womb, in our mother's womb, how our parents met and how we were formed. Look at our children. Some resemble fathers, some resemble their mothers. Some resemble all the two of them. Some do not even resemble them, but resemble another relative. This God that we serve is so wonderful. So, why do you run away from him? Hallelujah. How precious is your unfailing love, O oh God. Oh, humanity finds shelter in the shadow of your wings. You feed them from the abundance of your own house, letting them drink from your river of delight. Burden in the Lord. I do not understand. I still do not understand why somebody will shun the company of God. Why somebody will say that I do not believe that God exists. I do not understand. I do not understand. Look at all the wonderful things surrounding us. Jesus had to come all the way from heaven to show us, to prove to us that God is love. God is love. God loves you so much and he wants you to be his child. If only you want to, the Lord is ready to accept you. God does not look at the sins that we've done before. But when we come to him in repentance, 
He will forgive us. The Bible says that he will cleanse us from all unrighteousness. He will make us brand new people. We pray that the Lord will touch the hearts of someone who does not know him. Not knowing him does not mean that you don't go to church. Someone may be going to church, but does not know the Lord. We want to experience God in a special way. So, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. He says that, for you are the fountain of life, the light by which we see. Pour out your unfailing love on those who love you. Give justice to those who give justice to those with honest hearts. Don't let the proud trample me or the wicked push me around. Look, those who do evil have fallen and they are thrown down never to rise again. Brethren in the Lord. How is your prayer life? How is your study of the word? How is it like? What type of prayers do we pray? Is it only the prayer of attacking our enemies? Shining the praises that we need to praise God with. We need to adore him. We need to worship him. Because what he does for us are so big. That's so mighty. There are so many. We cannot count them. So we need to give him praise all the time. Adore him all the time. Because in the, he, he inhabits the praises of his people. We need to destroy the plans of the enemy, yes. But let God be your number one. Let him be your priority. When you wake up in the morning, you glorify him. You uplift his name. You make him big. He is big. He is the almighty God. Nothing can be compared to him. And so, may the Lord keep us from evil. And may the Lord be your warrior in battle. Father, we praise you and we bless you. And we know that in our praise and adoration, Father, you will glorify your name. You will always let your name be exalted. We want to do whatever we do for your name's sake. We thank you, we bless you. Help us, O God, magnify your word unto us, that even as we meditate on this psalm, Psalm 36, Father, reveal yourself unto us this weekend and let us experience you in a special way. Brethren in the Lord, please share the word. Inspire somebody. Let the person come to know that Jesus loves him or her. That she needs or he needs to accept him as his Lord and personal Savior. And there will be a turning point in their lives. God bless you. And if you have not subscribed, please do. If you are a returning sus subscriber too, God bless you as well. God bless us all. And may we be ready for his coming. Jesus is coming again. Are you ready? Jesus is coming again. Are you ready? Let us prepare ourselves as we meet the Lord. Do not be left out. Let us stand ready to receive him. With more oil that will keep our lights burning. That our lights will not go off. That our oil will not run, run short. God bless you so much. In Jesus name. Amen and amen.